submitting midterm or final grades through ILP. All semester sections have a shell and blackboard, where faculty can use course tools to deliver instruction and submit grades. When the registrar department's grading window is open, faculty may submit a midterm or final grade from Blackboard to self-service through a course tool called ILP Integration. Faculty may use this tool, even if they have never used Blackboard's Grade Center. Before you begin submitting grades through the ILP Integration tool, there are a few important points to recognize. First, plan on submitting midterm and final grades when the registrar department has opened the window for accepting these grades. You won't be able to submit grades through ILP when the registrar department closes its grading window. Please refer to the academic calendar and plan ahead. Second, before you submit grades through ILP, check the accuracy of the grades. Accuracy is vital because you can't change a submitted final grade through Blackboard directly. If you submit an incorrect final grade, we'll need to contact the registrar department and complete a change of grade form for each student impacted. If you are ready to submit midterm or final grades, follow this process. When viewing the course shell, go to the control panel and click Course Tools. In the list of course tools, click ILP Integration. You will be taken to the ILP Integration page. On this page, click on the button for the type of grade you want to submit, midterm grade or final grade. On the page that appears, locate the Visible Groups drop-down menu. Select your section. The grading form will appear. Enter a letter grade for each student that you want to grade in the provided midterm or final grade column. When you are done entering grades, click the Submit Grades button. If you are successful, you will see a confirmation message stating that grades have been submitted. As a final step, we recommend checking the grades in self-service to confirm that the grades pushed over successfully. If you have any questions about this technology, please contact the online learning department.